Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and uh, today I'm just going to be building on my wiffle ball field and just working on it and I figured I would just, you know, vlog a little bit of the process to see if you guys want this at all. I don't know. I'm just going to test it. If you guys want this, let me know if you want to see the progression of the wiffle ball field. I've already done quite a bit of work to it. I've worked on it for the last two weeks or so and I'll talk about everything that I've already done to it and then I'll show you just some of the stuff that I plan to do today with it. I'm also going to show you just a couple other things that I've been working on because I've just been ridiculously busy over the last three weeks or so. I just bought a house. They're working on the house right now. I'm building a wiffle ball field. A pool is being built. There's just so much stuff that's happening right now. All while running my main channel, which is almost at a million subscribers, starting this channel, which is about at 14,000 already, which is ridiculous. Also trying to keep up with the podcast on my Crypt Live channel that has like 84,000. It really is a ton of stuff. I'm going to work myself to death, but you know, I love every single second of it. But I don't know if you guys can see that but as you guys can see in the background here, there is a fence that is up. This is part of the wiffle ball fence, and I will get more into that here in just a little bit. But I want to show you guys a couple other things right here. But first of all, I just want to show you guys the Crypt Kingdom, or the palace, or the whatever I have. Uh, just This is where I am moving to slash currently live. I'm in the process of moving out of an apartment up here to my house that I just bought. And this is the land that is with it. It's like eight acres. I have no neighbors. I can just do whatever I want to up here. It's amazing. But so far, man, we've already done a ton of work out here. My mom and my dad actually did all this themselves. I might have a before picture of what used to be here. It was just a ton of weeds and plants and stuff, and it did not look good. But this is my house right here, and all this gray stuff right here is the addition that we are building onto it. This is where my studio will be, my bedroom, and my bathroom will be all right here. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but right now I live in an apartment complex. I live on the second floor, and all of my videos, like my music and stuff, comes out of the closet of my master bedroom and it's extremely small i have to worry about noise complaints all the time it's just it sucks living there it really does suck i've also got like a garage and a workshop out here I've, i'm gonna do a house tour on my main channel whenever all this gets done uh, hopefully it's all supposed to be done by the end of august or labor day weekend at the very latest but here are some poles that are going up in right field and i'll talk about that here in just a second because right here all the way on the side yard is going to be a big in-ground pool but yeah right here is going to be the pool it's going to go all the way up there to the house and then over here will be a patio area with a grill and some little outdoor seating and stuff where people can just come chill and right there is the back deck which will turn into a stage on Labor Day weekend. I haven't really talked much about this because I'm still getting it organized, but Labor Day weekend, I'm having a big concert get together out here with a bunch of different artists and reactors and everybody on YouTube. I think it's pretty rare that anybody subscribed to this isn't subscribed to my main channel, but if you're not subscribed to my main channel, my main occupation is I'm a rapper, which is weird, right? But yeah, me and all my rapper friends, we're gonna have a big concert out here and I'm gonna live stream it to my main channel and hopefully I'll be at a million subscribers by then, which will be a dope one million subscriber video. But now we get into this bad boy, the wiffle ball field now we've already done a ton of work to the field and i didn't think to vlog the process uh because one this channel didn't exist whenever i started to make the wiffle ball field but two i'm still relatively new to the whole vlogging thing and i'm just trying to get used to it but here i am standing at home plate and i've already got pretty much all of left field done all of center field kind of done and then I've stopped at right field because it's a big mess over there. And I'm gonna show some footage of me like trying to clear out some of right field. I started to record this the other day and I accidentally deleted some of the footage, but I do have footage of me clearing out some of the brush and cutting down a tree and stuff like that. But the main issue that we have here is pretty much everybody that's going to be playing wiffle ball on this channel, we're all righties. So we hit from the left side of the batter's box. So it means we hit the ball really far to left field. And I've got left field marked off at 155 feet. But the biggest issue is that we have one guy, his name is Brock, who has been playing disc golf with me. Uh, he is a lefty and he hits the piss out of the ball, which means that he hits it really far to right field. And uh, right field to all this brush and stuff right here is only 115 feet. And that's where all those poles come into play that I showed you earlier. And those poles, I bought 12 10 foot poles and I'm gonna connect them with these little couplings to make them 20 foot tall. I'm gonna have six of them and it's all gonna make up right field. So right field is gonna be a big 20 foot tall fence. So to make it a little bit more even, left field will be 155, right field with the 20 foot fence should end up being about 135 to 145 depending. But dude, there was so much stuff in the way on on this field and again i hope i have some pictures of some of the stuff that was here i don't have any videos of it but i will flash some pictures on the screen as i'm talking about it if i can find them but there used to be a raised garden right there down the third baseline there was another one back there behind the pitching mound there was like some barrels out here with weeds growing out of them there was some metal caging that was out there there's the metal caging right there we just kind of threw it in that brush pile there's still some of these compost bins that are out there because they are concreted in the ground and don't really know how to get those out yet but the biggest thing is there used to be a big shed right there i literally paid somebody to come move a shed off of my wiffle ball field 
field. You can actually see this shed. They moved it back there behind left field into the corner of my lot. But this kind of leads me into my last point, and then I'm just going to show some time lapses of me working on some stuff. But this is going to be really cool for us, and it should be really cool for you guys as well. So we want to have banners all across the outfield fence. We figured it out. We can make about 50 to 60 banners to put on this field. Honestly, it might even be more with the 20 foot fence. But here is my proposal, okay? It cost me $75 to make a banner. And these are three foot tall by five foot wide. So if you have $75, I don't want to like upcharge any of these banners. It cost me $75 to make the banner. If you have $75, I will make a banner with your logo on it. If you're a YouTube channel and you want to shout out to your YouTube channel on every single video that we have, if you're a company that has a product for 75 bucks, I'll make your banner and we will shove it out there on the fence and it'll stay up there for Forever, pretty much it's gonna stay up there until I decide to do something else with this fence and even then I'll probably put it back up on a new fence if I make a new fence because we love banners so yeah if you got $75 and you want to put your product out there email me at cripsports at gmail.com let me know who you are let me know what your product is if you have a logo like what you want to do I will talk to you about it and if everything goes smoothly we'll do the transaction I'll get the banner made and I'll plaster you out there on the fence but yeah $75 to make the banner send in $75 I'm not trying to make any money you guys are actually helping us by putting banners on the field it makes it look cool and it actually makes it easier to see if balls go over it and if balls stay inside it really helps but yeah that's pretty much going to be it the rest of this video is going to be a time lapse of me cutting down some of the brush over there cutting down a tree and maybe some of me pouring some concrete for the fence post for right field like I said you'll see me wearing different clothes when I'm trimming right field because I I recorded it on a different day. But yeah, let me know if you guys want some more of these progress videos and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hit up the email. I'm setting all these poles in a five gallon bucket and then I'm concreting the pole inside of the bucket and then I'm going to bury the bucket and then I'm going to concrete the bucket. So these poles aren't going anywhere. If you guys can see the bubbles going on right there, the compound is mixing in there. And in about 45 minutes, it should turn to solid. I could be wrong though. I've actually never done this before. But just to give you guys an idea, that is a 10 foot pole right there. It'll be twice that. And then it'll be like 60 foot that way. And that will be all of the right field fence. It's gonna look dope. Well, that fucking hurt. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. The battery on my weed eater and my little extension chainsaw are both dead and I can't do anything else. And I'm tired. So uh, yeah, if you want me to do another video continuing to work on the wiffle ball field, let me know. And again, if you want a sign of your own on this field somewhere at $75, just email me at cripsports at gmail.com. Tell me what you are, show me your logo and stuff that you want, and then I'll give you a definitive answer and we'll get it moving. But love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Did you just see how a drop of sweat flung from my hand straight into the lens right there? That was cool.